Mr. Alum Wernick. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Oh my gosh. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Yes. I was gonna say the same yeah. thing. I was gonna say the same thing. How are you? I gotta I'm good. I gotta say something. I have a fall you like for years. Oh. And um and the moment you say like you start to do interview, I was like I gotta get interview for her. I got how would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you said yes, yes, yes. I'm like my team, it was so funny. My team's like, okay, we've done, you know, everything. We've got music, we've got merchandise. What what are we missing? And it was like speaking to beautiful people and you know, talking and getting on camera with great people. And that was what, what was missing. This has actually been more successful than everything I've ever done. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. It's a, pleasure to, it's a pleasure to have you. I love you. Thank you. Actually, I, you know, so I think about like a weeks ago and um, everything you post. So, and um, you said something. I was like, please, no, because you give you so much. Uh, because I, I have a, this picture and I have it to share it. So you have a sharing and, and, you know, giving so much for all your platform, for all your followers, like, and I just can't get enough. Like, you know, when you post a video, something and everything is about things, something new. It's like you encourage people, you device people. You have no idea the way uh, you, you get your videos. It's just like amazing. Yeah. Oh, Alan, don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, you know, honestly, for a, for a young man who was bullied really badly growing up in both religion and in the social circles, I, a lot of years, I wasn't allowed to let my light shine. And even I found, even as an adult, when I tried to go to the traditional way of, you know, Hollywood or, you know, the record labels or, you know, those things, modeling, I found that, again, it was like they wanted me to be what they wanted me to be. And I, I just had such a hard time. I walked away from so much. People are like, you know, people watch me and they're like, who is she? And why is she so polished? And why is she so this? It's because years ago I had social media grooming and counseling. And, you know, I, I learned all of these things to prepare for a successful career. But I realized back then that I would be giving up more than I got. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And, and I sat for years and I was, I wasn't bitter, but I was upset because I knew that my call in life, my passion in life was to entertain, but I was so upset that the powers that be would not just allow me to be me. And uh, so I took the high road, had a couple nosebleeds because it was so high, you know, I took the high road and here I am today. And I don't have any regrets. I built this myself. And no one can knock it if they try. That's a little Beyonce ly lyric I've been listening to. <laughs> you, you, know, know? you know, something very like uh, I can't identify a lot with you because, uh, you know, I come from a really poor, really poor country. Mm -hmm. uh, I really have a background with high school, uh, with bullying. Mm -hmm. And I have like more than bullying in my country. We had a lot like... I have enough bullying already. So, and they come out with... Um, also, you don't have a money. When you don't have a money, you have a three times bully. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, and the, for me, it was very, very hard to grow up. And I was trying models so many times. So, even having a, a zero experience. So, I have a so I have the modest nose in my entire life somebody yeah. can have. Yeah. So, okay. I was like, you know, I, I'm going to do me. So, and, um, you know, like you did, like, you just start to build me. I build my social media and then I become something I never, I, I just realized one day, oh, that's my biggest dream becoming true. <laughs> and I made it like. <laughs> yeah, as I was getting ready to say, you live in that beautiful place behind you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you. So tell, so tell everybody, where, what country are you from? Oh, I'm so, that's the thing. I am from Brazil, but um, I grew up in Argentina. Uh, it's so close. So we, we like, 
is not states in Canada. So we just like to make a frontier too. So, but I feel I'm Brazilian, but my family, it's my friends are Argentinian. So I feel like a mix. <laughs> You are so, like, you don't understand, even to hear that, you know, I, I have an eye and I notice not just a person's beauty, but I notice their light inside of them. I can. Oh, tell, thank you. Yes. I can tell when a person is destined to leave a mark on the world. And when I first saw your face, I was like, but it, it just, <sighs> yes, it was so, I knew, I knew that you would be successful. I knew that you would touch the hearts and the minds and other things of many other men and women. <laughs> Thank you. Around the world. And it's just, it's just so wonderful to see that even though we both, because I started off very poor as well. And it's like, it's just so great that we didn't have to stay there. We fought, we fought and fought and fought and fought. And we, we made it to where we are now. And it's just so amazing. So I was talking to you earlier, so I'm just going to, I'm going to spoil it for them. So you live in Chicago. So, yes. okay. So you came, you, you, like you said, you got into modeling, you got into adult film acting, you got into DJing. Um, I, well, the question is, you're always traveling. Like, I see you all the time. Like, you're always on a plane. You're always <laughs> in countries. You're doing music. You're doing so much. Like, how, how, how are you handling all of this success? Okay. <laughs> I, I never, so I, I like pictures. I do like pictures, but I never expected to be born in my life, in, like in, in the industry. I never, I expect that to be true and all of this. So, but I think like when sometimes, you know, you, when you work a lot, sometimes just to open your eyes and say, oh my gosh, where I am. <laughs> you just keep it going, right? So um, I was, you know, uh, started with like industry and then, all the time I like music, so I want to do music, but I never find the time to, to do it. So I was like, okay, so let me try this. If I travel for this country, I'm going to stay four days. I can get one gig in music, but that's when gig become actually my big, uh, my big main thing to do right now, because it's just, I, I can't believe like sometimes I go work, uh, travel for work. Yeah. Okay, it's good. But for music, you know, when you do something, you really like it. It's for me, like, that's nothing in life. Like you can, uh, you know, it's like you just can be uh, 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 great for every single day when you do something you like it. Yeah. That's, I just feel grateful. <laughs> yes, they, they say that they say, and, and they lie. I have to correct this statement because they say, when you love, when you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I disagree. You'll work every day of your life, but you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Cause what That's we true. Do, yeah. Cause what we do isn't easy. What we do is not easy, but we make it look easy because we're magical. You have, you have so much boy magic with you. It's just, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah. I was living uh, because I really I thought you live in New York uh -huh. in, the, in the beginning, uh -huh. and uh, I was living in New York. So I moving to here last year uh, in Chicago. Okay, no one is gonna believe that, but I love colds. I love cold weather. I, I love it. snow. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I know, and people say you crazy. I was like, I think I am, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love cold. So in Chicago, I have so many friends living here. So. Also, I feel like in Middle West, you know, it's like when you travel East and West a lot, um, I feel like living in the middle is a lot of little good position. Yeah. You know, geographically to travel between both is like easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's a good way to, that's a good philosophy to put it. You know, if I got to be here and I got to be there, let me live right here. You know, that that's so, that's, right. so yeah, that's balance. That's balance. <laughs> um, when's your birth sign? What's your birth sign? Oh, Taurus, Taurus. Oh, I love Tauruses. <laughs> Good people. Earth people. Earth people. Yeah. Actually, it's coming. It's May 6th. Yeah, it's, uh, it's exactly one month away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's right. How, how old will you be? Uh, I'm going to be 32. Okay. Guess what? Yes. In September, guess how old I am going to be? Oh, uh, in September? You younger the people I know. Uh, 40. Okay, so right now, please 
everyone, right? So please, you share your whole skincare routine because you need that. <laughs> my skin routine. No, yeah. listen. You know what's so funny? I don't use soap on my face. Oh my I gosh! Don't, I don't use any soap on my face. Oh my God. So let me share something. Nobody's going to believe it. So people spend so many times that is, is really true. I have a follow this for the last five or six years mm -hmm. and my skin has changed the way I can believe it. Uh -huh. And it's close to $3. People is not going to believe it. Yeah. So I was in dermatologist, right? And he showed me, he showed me a Vaseline yeah. and he told me, you know, the Vaseline is the, is the better thing so you can use it to keep your skin hydrated for longer yeah. And it's the cheaper things you're going to find in the, in the grocery. I was like, oh my gosh. And I start to use it yeah. and I can't believe how it has changed my uh, texture, my skin. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And, and it's, that's what's so funny too. And, and people look at us and, you know, they're going to look at us and they're going to go, oh, well, you two are beautiful. But it's like, no, every, every, you know, and I want them to understand we were once a part of the population too, before we rose, you know, we were, we were people walking around doing the same things that everybody else was doing. And, it's that moment where you decide, I wanna, I'm want i going to shine. You know, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to do what we do. You know, because it's, it's, not, it's not easy. You, you, you're open to the opinions and the scrutiny of other people and the bullying. And, you know, me, I wear dresses for a living. Uh, <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was I was broken in the beginning because uh, you know like you needed to future you needed to see the thing because it's so easy for anonymous people drop any comments so any times yeah. and we we all get there so yeah. but I feel like when you work with social media we you, you show yourself you more people coming all the time so I remember was a hundred comments and good ones yeah. but when it was just one I'm not lying just one. That comment I can't forget was in my mind, and that was learn. I still learn how to, you know, to do this <laughs> good, yeah. better. You know what I do? I block every negative comment that I get. Yes. And I yes. Block, and That's I block and I block everyone who gave it to me permanently. And that's what uh, Instagram allows you to do now. You can block any future account of theirs. I block everything oh yes yeah, true because uh, now when you go block they get give you another i never uh, go through but they say something the new future account for this person yeah you can block every, they will never be able to come back past you and i i block for good so when people step out of, line, <laughs> out of line that's how i am i'm in this forever you're gone forever <laughs> <laughs> it's true no because we we are a social person so i i'm trying my so i'm trying to give you know i just don't comment about politics all of this but so many times you gotta comment i'll be honest that's not even fair like that's not fair because <laughs> they don't they don't know you alan they don't know you <laughs> and and for them to make an assessment off of what and and i mean and let's be honest social media we're always putting our best foot forward you know they don't see us when we cry they don't see us oh. you know when it's hard and for them to take one instance that they saw and judge our entire lives on it they deserve to be blocked yeah they deserve to be blocked <laughs> <laughs> so tell me i mean with the djing because you you have a lot of gigs with dj and dj and you travel everywhere to dj um how is that going how'd you get into that yeah i was uh finished so i think it was 2000 yes was end of 2018 mm -hmm. i was already one year in, in, a, in an industry pictures mm -hmm. uh, all of this and i was you know when you feel you need to go next so yeah. i love what i'm doing but that's all like the same you know it's the same awards every year is the same cities is it's, I just feel like I, 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 I want to try something new. I want to go next. Yeah. And, um, you know, beats, music all the time. I don't, uh, so, so that's the thing. I don't like stages. I don't like uh, being the stage. I don't like live performance. That's making me all the time. Like I, 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 I was in the high school when I was young. So, and um, I was going to the last performance for the Christmas. Yeah. And um, I did something wrong um, in the stage when I was young. And that becoming me uh, very stressful all the time. I have to go live. <laughs> so, Aww. and people say, but you work with cameras, but please help me. That, 
Yeah. That's not the same, guys. It works with same. lights and acrylic and yeah. go for a live performance. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's, you know what's so funny? I, I love the internet too for that reason because it's recorded. I did it. I walked away. Before your negative comment came, it was already done. It was already out there and I already did it. So I already had my way. So your comment is after the fact. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. You're on live stage, you know, not all of not all of us can be Beyonce, honey, because I know she's still getting nerves up there, but she go out there and kill like, I, I, I'm not I'm not Oh doing, my gosh, yes. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not, no. That's not me and either. <laughs> and then I was in 2018. I remember was really the beginning of the year. I was like, you know, I need to try something new. Sometimes you need to, sometimes no, actually, I think you always have to kill your ghosts yeah. because some ghosts is going to be there. You're going to see it's nothing. Yeah. And, um, and then I'm like, you know, I, okay, I'm going to try music for myself first. And I was trying, it was very easy, it was enjoyable. And I don't remember what was my first gig. Oh, yeah, it was in Tampa. I was going to Tampa. And uh, of course, <laughs> nervous. <laughs> but I saw people was, uh, you know, it's like was happy. People was dancing. And then I go for my first international one. That was, I think, my memorable, uh, memorable, like the really big one for me. Yeah. It was in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Yeah. I travel there. I see, you know, like the club and I go through and I play music. And the, the beginning was everyone happy. So then I realize, okay, so that's gonna be my new job. <laughs> No, I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy for you because, you know, even putting yourself out there, you have a million Instagram followers. I have a, no idea how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to say, yes, I know exactly how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, and, and millions, millions, and, and that's just a small representation because there are millions of people that love you worldwide, worldwide. You, it's, you're it's, doing your thing. It, it, you know, like, it's just like very, uh, how to say, it's, you know, because you just, how to say, just put yourself there. I'm not trying to be nobody. I'm not yeah. trying to, I, ne I never be trying to be nobody. I just like always express for myself, like how I think it's right. And also that is something. So, you know, only fans come out. Yeah. We're talking about five years, four years ago. Yeah. I remember, I remember I was, uh, the only one I think, yeah, in that time doing social media, Instagram, right? And it started doing uh, only fans, let's right. show everything. Right. In that moment, so many, so many influencers I uh, uh, was talking about, like, oh my gosh, you know, he's doing, he's doing, he's doing. I was like, I don't think it's something wrong. I right. show myself, like, you know, the way I don't know, I can, you know, charge you for this, like, yes. make money, and then. I become like in that moment, like uh, one of the first ones in OnlyFans. Yeah. And then past four years right now, the same influences was talking about like, it wasn't right the way you show yourself. It's asking today for collaboration. I was like, okay. <laughs> don't collaborate with them. No, don't collaborate I didn't. with them. No, no, no. Don't collaborate. I'm the same yeah. way. If I ask these people for an interview and they turn me down and not do their research, I will never ask them again. Nope. No, <laughs> no, no. Don't oh, even do it because that, that's the thing. That's why, and, and the reason why I'm like that is because the one thing I love about social media is it's recorded. So you get to see the greatness. You get to assess. You can Google who I am. You can Google what I'm doing. You can go watch other interviews. You can go look at all of the videos I made for the last six years. So if you come at me and you give me your ass a kiss and you act like you don't know who I am, and, and this is the thing, it's not about being grand. The internet, you can look up anyone. And find That's out true. what they do, <laughs> and find out what they do. So if you don't, if you need to say, and, and I respect people that say to me, "Well, um, I thank you for the offer. Give me a second. I'm going to get back to you because I know what that means. They're going to go look and see what I do." And, and I can respect that. But if you're like, oh, can you send me this, this, that, and the other? And I'm like, send you what? I have an entire network. Do you? Like, I, I understand that not everybody <laughs> knows me, but um, savvy people will go, let me Google this bitch. 
You know, like, let me Google her. And then when you Google and you're like, oh my gosh, she does this and she does this. And I usually, most people, and, and most people tell me yes, like immediately. Most people are like, okay, yes, I'll talk to you. So, because it's like- You're crazy. <laughs> when you told me, I was like, yes, please, when? <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? We booked this like a month ago. Like, you're so busy. Like, you booked this like a month ago. You're like, oh, it was March. And you're like, April 6th. I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> I, like, I'm just so glad. I'm so glad to talk to you because I get to tell you that I love you. I love you and I love everything that you do. And you are just, yeah, you are such a wonderful soul. Like you are a wonderful soul in a beautiful body and just with an oh, even, even more beautiful heart. And I just, I'm so glad that we got this opportunity to, you know, just touch base because I'm, I'm pretty sure there will be more opportunities in the future, but I know that you have a cycling class. <laughs> so you're going to have to go soon. <laughs> guys, okay. We so talk. <laughs> let me share, cut to this later. No, just kidding, guys. <laughs> I have a, something to share to you. So yes. I, I, I haven't been really like lazy. I'm talking about lazy. I was that. So, and um, I get fat. Believe me, I will get a fat. <laughs> <laughs> and I have like really like important jobs coming for summer. They just they're gonna start in May right now, the first ones. And um, I just called my best friend yesterday. I was like, I was changing no mirror, you no know, go bad. I was like, I'm fat. <laughs> I called my best. You get it fat. I was like, I told you two weeks ago. I'm like, okay, let's go cycling class, please. <laughs> yeah, no, well, we definitely want you to go to cycling class and keep that body beautiful because we love it. We love you. We love it. Oh my God. And I, that's, and I just thank you for the opportunity. And it, it's so crazy. Like, are you crazy? But no, like, that's what I love about what we do as entertainers. We're fans of each other. We're supporters of each other. That that's really true. And uh, please, please, that was the first one. Please, please, you're gonna invite me for more. <laughs> I will. I will. So give me, give me three words that inspire you. Okay, that's big words inspire me. Um, God, first of all. Um, second one, family, because everything I do is from my family first. Yeah. Uh, third. Um, Oh, wow, the thirty. It's it's uh yeah. I have like family. God, very first of my it's just everything I do, everything I put in myself, or everything how I'm gonna look like. I think about God if it's right, and first I think what my family is gonna prove. Yeah. Um, and the wow, the third one. Oh, uh, the third one. You know, I I think. <clears throat> do inspire me a lot to have inspired my entire life it's my i will show you actually <laughs> my grandmother my grandmother if she's uh you know it's like i have a, in my in my freezer can show you like i have a, my uh, picture of my grandmother uh and my mother but my grandmother i think she everything she did in life and everything she inspired me so every, every day i just wake up and i just go and see her picture for me it's very uh inspired yeah my grandmother <laughs> You are such a sweetheart. <laughs> okay, okay. I know I gotta let you go because you got cycling to go to. But I just want to say thank you for checking in with me and we will schedule something again very, very soon. But thank you for, you know, just stopping by and letting me know that you love me just as much as I love you. And, yes. I, and I want you to enjoy the rest of your day and, and just not the rest of your day. Know that I get to tell you right now, I love everything you do. You don't need to change anything about yourself. Just keep on being that beautiful, beautiful person that you are and go to cycling and keep it, get, get the body that we love. <laughs> <laughs> get the body Thank you. Love. Yes. Thank so, you, beautiful. Oh, yes, you're so welcome. Let me wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard the vocal stylings of Mr. Alan Wernick. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs>